Uh, hello everyone, we are working on the Onos FW project which is uh, led by Huawei uh, in OpenLV community. Today uh, I will show you the SDN NIV based SFC demo. So the first slide is talking about what is SDN NIV based service function chaining. The service function chaining is not a new concept. It consists of uh, several kinds of different uh, service functions. And the flow classifier can add a tag on the flow, and then it, the different kind of flow can be processed by different kind of uh, service function chain. Uh, this technology can be used in mobile network edge, uh, residential network edge, and enterprise network edge. Uh, as the picture shows, it was used in the mobile network edge. Uh, in traditional use cases, uh, there are three shortcomings. The one is each service function needs to be deployed manually. You know, you need to config each service function and then uh, set up uh, one by one to consist a uh, chain. And the second, you know, each service function is a special device. It brings too much labor work uh, to maintain and it's not scalable and flexible. The third, when you modify the SFC, uh, it needs the manual work uh, and uh, takes long term and error problem. When we uh, use the SDN NIV based uh, service function chaining, uh, the service function is replaced by VNF. It can be created dynamically uh, and it is also scalable, flexible and uh, uh, faster to deploy and efficient resource usage uh, leading to lower uh, OPEX and CAPEX. Uh, based on centralized control, uh, controller can generate flow rules to uh, form a service function chain automatically. Uh, what's done in OpenLV service function chain project? Uh, actually, uh, SFC is a sub-feature in Onos FW project. And in this project, we support several features. Uh, the one is layer 2 and layer 3 feature. This meets the basic needs for the DC network. And then the service function chain is a layer 4 to layer 7 features. Uh, all the network functions are virtualized. You know, the layer 2 switch and layer 3 router is OVS. And the flow classifier is also OpenWay switch. The switch function for order, we use uh, OVS. Uh, and uh, the service functions such as DPI, firewall, uh, extension, uh, are uh, extra are VNF. Uh, so today we have three demo scenarios. The first is to create a chain with two SFs. Uh, one is firewall and the second is DPI. Uh, then we will modify the chain by adding an or delete uh, SF. Uh, the third, we will demo the owner's GUI, show SFC status and topology. Uh, first, let's talk about the environment setup. Uh, as the picture shows, here is the OpenLV architecture. Uh, the orchestrator layer, we use the OpenStack, and the network layer, we use the owner's controller. Uh, and in data plane, we use OpenWay switch. The OpenStack, we use a Liberty release. Uh, and uh, we use a multi-node deployment. Uh, Onos, we use a golden eye release. And the open with switch, we use a, a version with official NSH patch, and we can get the patch from this address. Uh, the lab one is uh, create a service function chain. Uh, as you know, uh, here is OpenStack and here is uh, Onos controller. They are communicated by the uh, Neutron plugins. And in data plane, there are two compute nodes. Which com uh, one compute node has one open with switch, and uh, each node is connected by the VXLAN tunnel. Uh, and then when the user uh, create two virtual hosts and two uh, service function, the one is uh, firewall and the second is uh, DPI. And from the user side, there are nodes here. And uh, when, after we configure the traffic between the two hosts to go through the function chain, uh, it can be, looks like that in your other side. Uh, the lab two is to modify the chain. 
You know, as a chain, uh, like uh, as a chain previously, we modi we want to add a service function in the in the chain, and then we create a service function in uh, in the data plan, and uh, from the user side, the chain was added a parent parent uh, parental control in it, and if we want to remove this function chain. And uh, from the user side, it was deleted in the uh, in the web portal. Uh, the lab three is the uh, owner school show, and uh, I will let my colleague uh, Fanny to show the live demo. Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to demonstrate the SDN and NFA based service function chaining. As my uh, colleague Henry showed in the previous slides, I'll be showing the lab demonstrations of them. Now, first we'll go to the scenario one, like creating a service function chain. Just before that, I'm going to walk through my environment. This is my Honors GUI, and uh, we can see that two devices got detected in the Honors GUI, and there are some uh, hosts got cre uh, created in the in those devices. In the same the same thing, we can see in the Honor uh, OpenStack environment. In the OpenStack environment, also we can see those instances got created, and I have, currently I have logged into the four of the instances, like. Uh, one is my source, and the second one is my SF1, and third one is my SF2, and last one is my destination. Now I'm going to run a simple client server program. Currently I have not created any uh, service function training. I'm just going to run a simple client server program. What this client server program does, when I send a message, it will uh, the message will be received at the server and the server will send back the same message to the client now we can see that now uh, i'm going to create a service function chain as shown in the scenario one Now, uh, when I create a service function chain, including two service functions, that is uh, SF1 and SF2, now I'm going to run firewall program in this. And here in the service function 2, I'll be going, I'm running deep packet inspection. So now when I send a message, it will go via the first service function SF1, and then it goes to second service function DPI, and then the message goes to the destination. Now, as part of the NSH, uh, uh, like uh, after once the packet is classified for the SFC, the NSH header will be added so that here we can see the first service function, the NSI value is FF, that means 255. After processing the first service function, uh, this, uh, this guy will reduce the value of NSI and send it out so that when the packet is received at the second service function, we can see the value is FE. Since this is the last service function, this, uh, when the packet comes out from this DPI, the NSH header will be popped out and sent to the destination. Also, in the deep packet inspection, we can see what is the content we have sent. This one, hello. We can see the content what is uh, coming in the packet. Now, what is the main functionality of a firewall to block something? So. Currently, I have not configured the firewall to block anything. Uh, now, I will be configuring firewall to block the source. Twenty dot o dot o dot three is my source address. So, when I when I configure my firewall to block this, and when I send a packet, the firewall will drop the packet. So, it does not receive on the other side. We can see the firewall drops the packet because in firewall we block, we configure the IP address of source. So any packets coming from the source will be dropped at the firewall. Now when I remove that configuration, the packet flow continues. We can see the packet flow continues. Now I'm going to demonstrate the lab 2. Now I'm going to insert a new service function. That is a parental control service function. So when I insert the parental control service function, we will see the packet path now.
when you insert the parental control service function at the first, the first the packet will go to parental control service function, then the packet will go to firewall, and then the packet will go to DPI. From DPI, the packet will go to the destination. We can see here FF at the parental control, the value of NSI, FE at the firewall, and the value of NSI is FD at the DPI. So what is the functionality of a parental control? So we want to block something uh, based on the content in the packet. So now I'll configure parent my uh, service function with some uh, content so that so any packet contains the adult keyword, it will drop the packet. So normal messages, it will pass, it will continue to pass. And when I send the message with that, we can see the parent and control service function dropping the packet because it has some blocked content. Now other packets will continue to flow. Okay, now I'm going to delete this parental control service function from my chain. So when I delete my parental control service function, again the path will resume like SF1, my, like that is my firewall, and then SF2, that is my DPI. Now no packets will be seen at the parental control service function. We can see the path resumes from SF2, that is uh, service function one, that is firewall, and then the service function two, it is DPI, and then the packet goes to the destination. The same thing we can see in the Onos GUI. So when I select this, we can see uh, I have a source, I have a destination, and then the service. Uh, this is my service function one, and this is my service function two. Also, we can see the path over here like uh, the packet flow from source to SF1 and then SF1 to SF2 and then SF2 to the destination. Also we can see in the summary what is the uh, list of service function chains configured. Uh, currently I have configured one service function with two SFs and we can see uh, its, its, uh, its details along with the classification. Now when I come back to the topology Here uh, we can also see the properties of a service function like uh, when we select the service function we can see the IP address, we can see its name as well as we can see the MAC address of this. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.